What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, uh, I'm so sorry, terribly sorry about that Pokestar Studio thing, but it was a must. And well, now it is time for us to move on right here because we actually got our second badge. Now, we gotta look for the exit right here. Uh, we went through the Pokestars, and well, would you look at that. Now, before we do anything, I kind of want to get the right Pokemon for this. Magneto dominated! He dominated uh, Roxy. So let's go right ahead and give Buckus a little bit of love right here. So as you can see. So you are, are you guys Team Plasma then? That's right. We're Team Plasma. Two years ago, we were betrayed by the man we respected as our king and hero. So our conquest of Unova region ended in failure. However, we'll never give up. And we will persevere. We already have another plan in motion. Shut it. You guys are the worst. You talk about saving Pokemon, but you're just Pokemon thieves. Don't think I'll ever forgive you. In, a, in the ranch, we just uh, we got chased by a lily pup. And we're getting involved in trouble? This kind of stinks. Well, it's okay, isn't it? If we steal their Pokemon. Okay, kiddos. When you're ready, give it your best shot. Okay, so it's a three-on-three -three battle. I'll crush you in your new plans. I will never forgive Team Plasma. Okay, this guy's got some, like, uh, deep issues and stuff with Team Plasma, so we're just gonna beat this guy and then be on our way right here. So, as you guys can see... Okay, hold on, what? Hold on just a sec, guys. We are gonna have to pause just a little bit because I got a little bit of a message right here. So, let's just show this right here, da 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 and I'll be right back with you guys. Wow, that took uh, quite a few. <laughs> that took a lot. Anywho, here we are battling our first uh, Team Plasma member, and we're going to mop the floor with these guys right here. And, well, here's the thing about Patrat I hate the most. They like to use Bide. They, they're always faster than my Pokemon, and it's just it's very, it's very annoying, especially when they have to use Bide Attack. And, yes, I'm kind of hoping to just finish him off just like that. How does it feel to fail, Pat Rat? And look at that. Yes, he lost very awfully. And, well, let's see. I can't believe kids like this caught us off guard. <laughs> let's run. And, yes, he pushes me out of the way. And, <laughs> what a bunch, of, a bunch of creeps. Split up. You go check Route 20. Oh, it looks like we're gonna. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to actually <laughs> get them. If uh, if I'd lost, my precious Pokemon uh, would have been taken. Thanks to you two, use this. And here we have the HM01 cut, which is a very nice ability to actually have. And well, Hugh right here is like, that's a hidden machine, right? It's cut. Pokemon that no cut can use it even when they're not in battle or to cut down small trees. Oh. But more importantly, let's go after Team Plasma. Come on, we're splitting up uh, and searching at Route 20. Okay, so it looks like to me that we're going to be needing that cut technique. And, uh, well, let's see. Route 20 is somewhere around there. So I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to get a Pokemon that can learn cut and heal up my Pokemon right now. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back. And after trashing on Pat Rat, well, guess what I did? I caught myself a Pat Rat. And it can learn cut. Yes, I completely forgot that I only had two Pokemon in my PC. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Ironically enough, the Pokemon that can learn cut happens to be the Pokemon that I've been trashing on. So, anywho, let's go right ahead and take a look where Route 20 is at. Because, uh, yeah, good old Draven is, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, forgetful and all that stuff. So, Route 20 is all the way back where, you know, uh, we were at beforehand and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead and find Team Plasma. Get it over and done with with and do some other stuff right here too like get to the next uh, the next city so here we are route 20 and well we've already defeated everybody right here but we're still looking around for these guys these team plasma goons and nothing right there so my 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 thing is where the heck can we find these guys and well there's a uh, there's our buddy Hugh and well let's see help me check route 20 okay now, we can only get that Pokeball once there's, I believe, snow. Completely forgot about that one, too. So let's go right ahead and try and find these guys. And this is the Flossessi Ranch. And I don't think they're right here. So we're going to have to actually go somewhere else right here. So Route 20 it is. And where the heck are these guys? Oh, there they are. Huh. 
talk to him, and yeesh! I really hate it when people don't let things go! Okay, so, uh... Here it is, taking on another Team Plasma Grunt, and yeah, she does have one Pokemon, so it looks like to me it's going to be a cat and dog kind of fight, and well, let's go right ahead and use our Ember attack right here just to finish off uh, this Purloin, and Purloin survives right here, so let's go again, one more Ember attack, and just like that, Butkiss grows to level 17. And is learning Flame Wheel. So this is another good, uh, great move right here. Uh, what I'm going to actually do is I'm actually going to switch it out with uh, Helping Hand. Because, well, who needs Helping Hand right now? And I kind of need another, uh, you know, another attack right here. And I think Flame Wheel is a physical attack. So that's that. Now that I think about it, if we run this way, no one can help me. I have to head towards the ocean. So with that in mind, I'm going to flee again. Goodbye, Verbank City. Okay. And, well, just like that, uh, she leaves, and he was like, well, they're really good at running anyway. Still, she just said something useful. They must be moving around by boat. Castelia City has a big port. I wonder if they're headed there. Okay, let's go back to Verbank and look for someone who looks like they know uh, a lot about ships. If I remember right, there was a place to board boats in the docks. Hmm, that is true, and I think I do remember of a sailor, a certain sailor that, you know, Needed some uh, some work with the uh, you know his acting and all that crud. Uh, yeah. So let's see. I think there is a there's I think there's a spot right here where you can actually use cut. I could be wrong. I don't know. Somewhere around here you can cut. Not really. Okay. Let's go. Let's go all the way back right here. And no, you actually need to do something right there. Okay. Never mind. I'm just gonna keep on moving on forward right here, guys. I know. I know. I'm a little excited about getting the cut technique and I may have just you know wasted a slot just for uh, what's his face and was that a yes it was I'm gonna do that I think that's an Audino so we're gonna get some experience points right here yes it is an Audino so whatever chance I get guys we're gonna be beating up on an Audino to get some more experience points as you can see level 2 Audino not much experience points right now, but, you know, as a level 5 Pokemon, that would have been a lot more experience points. So, yes, we're going back. And, well, let's see. If I remember correctly, there might be something right here. No, completely wrong. There's something right here, but I think you have to sail through that area right there. Okay, so that is that. Let's just go right ahead and find that dock right there to, to get the heck out of this place right here. And as you can see, there's Roxy with her dad, and she's like, I thought your movie was pretty good. That's a god dang lie. So you saw it. That movie was... No, it wasn't the movie. It was me. I was so excited that it really didn't become real, man. Acting like that won't thrill in or excite anyone. Come on, don't get down. You can keep trying while you continue, being, uh, continue as captain. As long as you don't cause anyone trouble, I won't get mad. I don't know how the Pokestar Studios pe uh, people feel about that, though. Hmm, and she notices us, and she's like, Oh, did you hear us? Well, it looks like everyone from Team Plasma got away. I feel like, uh, I don't feel really good about it, but at least they're gone. Oh, there has a lot, there's a lot of rock uh, ruckus, but you can sail to Castalia uh, uh, City now. Which is exactly what we're going to be doing right here. Okay, I guess I'll do my best as captain. I'll excite and thrill everyone and by barreling through the, w the rough waves, which is good. Okay, so let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here because we got to go to the next place. And Hugh is right here. He's like, you're going to Castilla City, right? Yes, I am. I'm going to look for Team Plasma. I can't forgive those guys. Okay, seriously, forgive them for what? Hey, Captain, show us the ship that you're so proud of. Of course. Please step this way. And just like that, guys, we are going straight to Castelia City. If you guys don't remember, Castelia City is this big old city right there. Kind of a uh, reminiscent of New York City, right? Right? Right. Okay. All right. All right. We said a lot of rights. And well, here we are in Castelia City. Everyone, we've arrived at Castelia City. So this is Castelia City. It's much bigger than I've heard, but it, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to find Team Plasma no matter where they run. Oh yeah, Draven. Here, let's register each other's cross transceiver number. We didn't even uh, need to 
or did, we didn't even need to in Aspergia. We we could see each other anytime, and just like that, we register everything. And well, look at this. That's a strange ship. A sailing ship these days and age, huh? Okay. All right. So yeah, that ship is a little weird. Look at that. And oh, look. There's a there's an item right there. And we found ourselves a hard scale, which could be used for something very, very beneficial. So, anywho, guys, here we are in Castelia City. The big, big, big city. And, well, right when we enter right here, somebody has noticed us. Uh, notices us, And he's like, welcome to the Castelia City. It's the Har Castelia Harlequin Hunt. I bet this is your first visit to Castelia City. That's great. Here, have this bicycle. And just like that, we get ourselves a bicycle. Look at that. We enter Castelia, we get ourselves a bicycle. That's great. And Castelia Harlequin, Harlequin Hunt, excuse my language right there, rules are simple. All you have to do is visit specific places and talk to the Harlequin there. Whether you participate is up to you. The places to look are the Metal Office, the Passerby Analytics HQ, and the Battle Company. Ride ride the bicycle I gave you and go go go. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's pretty much what was what is going to happen in the next few episodes, guys. Castelia City, it is a huge place to explore and that is going to be the next mission because not only do we have to explore this whole city, but there's extra stuff that has been added into this whole city right here plus the gym. So, in the next episode, we're going to be exploring Castelia City doing our big thing right here and then uh yeah we'll see where the wind takes us you know i'm just playing yes we will see what happens in the next episode so thank you guys again for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button the notifications button and if you guys want to make a small donation here to this channel right there the link is in the description below i will see you guys in the next one as we explore castelia city see you guys